cool to see. Like, I know, you know, six year run, I think you won your division every year. But like you mentioned, you made the playoffs, lost the first round, then you lose conference finals. Then that next year, it's the Stanley Cup. Like, I know Ed Belford come in the year prior and all these things change it. But did you just feel it building throughout all those seasons where it's almost like you had to lose to end up getting that cup? What, what happened with us was we lost in the conference final in 98 to Detroit. And it was, I remember we won game five against Detroit and we were going onto the bus to, to, uh, to go to game six. We were traveling to Detroit. And I said to Bob Ganey, I said, Bob, Detroit looks tired. I, I think we got them. I think we've got them. And he said, they're a championship team hitch. You better beware because they got another gear and you're about to see it. And our whole team felt like we had them. Everybody thought this is our time. And Detroit threw a game at us as well as we played. They played better. And they played this unreal hockey game emotionally that we'd never seen before. And it, that held us instead for the next three years because we knew that this, we thought we were in the gear, but we weren't in the gear. There was a whole other gear that we had to get to. And the players recognized that. The coaches recognized that. And that's when we took off and had the year that we did in 99. And going back in 2000 when it was so competitive, it was really interesting because we couldn't beat Detroit. Detroit couldn't beat Colorado and we could beat Colorado. So we had, had to match up properly. We beat Colorado twice in both in game sevens and, and Colorado beat Detroit out. So, you know, it was kind of the heavyweights and going at it all the time. The three of us were the heavyweight teams in the league at that time. When you say step it up another notch, Hitch, do you mean like maybe barking at the players a little louder? Well, that was there. <laughs> but it was also, you know what it was, was also the uh, the competitiveness. Like, the you know, the every puck battle mattered so much and every everyone had to be won. And, but the other, the biggest part for me, Biz, was the players held each other accountable to a whole other level. I remember the year that we won the cup, I did instructing from February on. I didn't do a lot of coaching. The players were coaching themselves at that time. And they were pushing each other way harder than I could push it. And, and uh, we all knew we could pull back because they had the reins and they really took over halfway through that year. Who was the guy in the room to be like, we hear about Chris Pronger being a guy who would call guys out. Who was that guy for you in the locker room where it made your job easier as far as the accountability being held? Pat Verbeek, Craig Ludwig, those type of guys. They were, Guy Carboneau, they were incredible. Mike Keene, especially. Mike Keene, you know, he was a small guy. He wasn't a great skater. He was a competitive player beyond belief. But man, could he ever hold people accountable because he was willing to, block every shot known to mankind himself. He expected the players to do the same thing. I had a group of players in there that I could turn it over to no problem. And they gave me as tough a time as anybody. They, they made fun of me and they laughed and, <laughs> and, and, you know, but they took it over and they grabbed it and they held on tight boy. They were really, really good. 